Today we're going to make a frame for a newspaper article. This is a piece of maple that my cousin gave me. It's been sitting around a while. We're going to cut it down, plane it, resaw it, plane it some more, joint the edges, and try to make it into something beautiful. I also want to tell you my story. First, let me introduce myself in case you don't know me. I'm Sean, and I'm a woodworker. Well, I'm a husband, a daddy, a son, and then a woodworker. I haven't always been a woodworker, and I wouldn't even really call myself a good one. I just like it a lot. give you a little information on this project. This wood, it's ambrosia maple, meaning the beetles have left their mark in the wood. Personally, I like it. I guess you could say I was introduced to woodworking when I was given my first hammer by my great grandmother. I still have the hammer hanging in the shop today. She gave me this hammer and a bag of nails at the young age of six. I'm 40 now. And that day, 34 years ago, was so important. That piece of wood it was hanging on, it's from the hardware store the hammer came from. They tore it down a few years ago. I now have three boys of my own, and I couldn't be a more proud dad. My boys inspire and motivate me to do better, to do more, and I can only hope to be the example that they model after. first, but it was just too much to handle. That's why I ran it through the table saw to cut away the majority of the waste. Here I'm planning again to get rid of the unevenness the bandsaw left. I guess I should explain the mess I'm making. My dust collection bin is getting full, but I didn't realize it until this point in the project. But I'll have it taken care of before the next project. When my first son was only a year and a half to two years old, I remodeled our breakfast room into a mud room outfitted with a bench some cubbies for coats and shoes. And I guess you could say that's the project that really got me hooked on woodworking. And I haven't looked back since. But what left an impression on me was that my son was following me around with a hammer and a screwdriver, copying my every move. I knew then that I had to be intentional with my time with him. So that's when I decided to build a workshop. workshop. I wanted it to be a place we could learn together, create things with our hands and our creativity, 
and bond together. I want this place to be a memory and nothing more. These things they learn and create will be memories. The bonds made will be everlasting and a legacy will be built. Sometimes teaching is about more than just passing on a skill. to discover the skills and talents that they don't yet realize they have while they are making memories and while I'm making a difference. Let me catch you up on the project. After we were done resawing and planing, I glued up the two pieces and applied some butcher block oil. At the router table, I added a chamfer to both sides and applied some more oil to the edges. Here I'm cutting the plexiglass that will be what holds the newspaper article in place. back to being an example and making a difference. It goes beyond what is comfortable. Recently I made a decision to do what feels right, but it was uncomfortable. You see, I took a job when I turned 21. A good job. A job with benefits and decent pay. I figured I would stay there until retirement age. But something changed, and it was because I wasn't making a difference. job I was merely a number and I didn't like that the company I worked for offered a good exit package so I took it but not without thinking it through my thought process was to follow my heart and lead by example I mean if I want my boys to make a difference or at least follow their hearts and dreams then I must lead them by example
newspaper article was all about. Well, the local paper here started asking questions about what I do. And one thing led to another, and it resulted in a feature in the lifestyles section. Pretty cool, I thought. But I'm not here promoting the article. I'm just here telling you my story. instead of using metal eye bolts and wire. That's what I say. It's really more about life lessons and making a difference. To learn more about who we are and what we do, you can find us at www.stoneandsons.net. Also, to read the newspaper article featuring us, visit www.stoneandsons.net slash my story. I'll also link it in the description. Thanks for watching.